Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. Whether you have one snake or thousands of snakes, the one thing that we all share in common is the type of bedding that we use. We're gonna go ahead and look at the pros and cons. You're watching Snake Bites. There's a bag of cypress for you. When you're keeping snakes, one of the most important things is obviously what you're gonna keep them on. So I wanna go ahead and look at a whole bunch of different possibilities for what you can keep as substrate for your animal. And since I just brought a load of cypress in, let's start with cypress mulch. When it comes to cypress mulch, it's the bedding that I use the most with my ball pythons. Now I get double shredded mulch, which just basically means it's finer and it doesn't have those big chunks of wood in it. What's nice is it's relatively clean, it looks pretty cool, and when an animal sheds or goes to the bathroom, you can just spot clean that chunk out and add some new bedding. Another thing I like about it is it retains humidity really well, and with ball pythons, we're always struggling with stuck sheds. So you can just spray this down a little bit, and it's gonna retain that moisture. Some of the drawbacks to cypress mulch is one, some people think that there's contaminants in it. So when they're actually milling the product and actually harvesting it, sometimes there's petroleum and other things that are spilled into cypress mounds and can eventually get into your mulch, which is certainly not good for your animal. One of the things you definitely want to look at is to make sure that there's no additives. You don't want dye or any other type of wood. You want 100% cypress. And then there's also a chance of bringing in mites. A lot of people feel that they are parasites sometimes in the cypress that come from the wild and when you bring it into your collection you can sometimes get mites. I'm not sure if it's true or not but I will tell you we've had a couple mite explosions right after we've done a big revamp so I'm always looking for something a little bit better which brings me to the next thing that I've been experimenting on and that's coconut husk fiber. When it comes to coconut husk fiber, there's a bunch of products out there, and I've tried a lot of them, but the one that I really like is this Critter's Crumble, and the reason I like it is because it's actually, the consistency is really cool. It's kind of perfect for snakes. It's not really stringy or anything, and what's nice about coconut husk is it's mold and mildew resistant. It's completely biodegradable, and there's no odor. It's really cool, too, because you can continue to spot clean it just like the cypress mold, and it retains moisture really well but that is the drawback, is I see that it actually sucks the moisture up so much so that it actually dries the snakes out if you don't keep it damp. So you've gotta to continue to keep it misted, but as long as you keep plenty of water in there, I really like this product, and there's a chance I might be switching my entire ball python collection over to Critter's Crumble. All right guys, it's Cow's Question Week. Now I am sick and tired of these actors and athletes whining, complaining, about the media being in their personal lives. Now, do you think that celebrities' personal lives are fair game for our entertainment? Text your video, comment below. Let me know. Certainly the cheapest and easiest product to use is just newspaper. It works fantastic. It's really easy to clean. You just kind of lay it in there and make sure you have at least a couple layers because you might want to rip off a layer or two. The only drawback to newspaper is the amount of maintenance that goes along with it. Obviously, when the cage gets dirty, there's no spot cleaning newspaper. You gotta tear the cage down and you gotta redo it all the way over. And although it's super cheap, there certainly is a lot of work to it. With colubrids, it's all about wood bedding. We don't need the high humidity that pythons need, so we want something that's really absorbent and it's gonna stay a little bit drier. A lot of these substrates, if you use them on ball pythons, you're gonna get really stuck sheds, worse than the coconut husk, and you really can't moisten them up because they get moldy. We used to use pine shavings. We started to notice that the odor was just not that good with it. It didn't seem to absorb the moisture very well, and again, it molded up a lot. Then we moved to shredded aspen. It was a product that really became popular about 10 years ago, and it was way better than pine when it comes to absorption, and it didn't mold nearly as much as pine did. But the only problem we had with it was that there was a lot of dust. We still use it on some animals, but we did notice that the dust level was kinda high. Then we switched to a product that was actually Aspen Sani Chips, which are just little cut up pieces of Aspen. Again, it's not straw-like, it's little chunks of it. And this stuff spot cleaned even better than the shredded Aspen. And the thing that was nice is that there was nearly no dust in it. So it pretty much solved all our problems. Wood shavings are relatively cost effective, so they work really well, especially for animals like corns and canes and melks and even hognose snakes. The only thing you want to stay away from is anything with cedar in it. Cedar is terrible for snakes and will actually kill them. 
when it comes to animal maintenance, it's important to get the product that works right for you. For us, we really love the coconut husk for pythons, but it was expensive, and certainly the cheapest was the paper, and the rest were about in the middle. If I miss the product that you guys are using, or you just want to tell me what product that you like the best, go ahead and comment down below. Let's check in with our feeding experiment. It's been three weeks since we started this whole thing and we're already starting to see some results. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and click the annotation and you can watch the entire episode. But let's weigh them up and see what's happening. Team number one, which is team normal, has a total of 91 grams. Team number two, which is the normal plus vitamin, actually went up to 94 grams. Team number three, which is seconds, which means it's being fed small meals twice as often, only is 79 grams total. And the last group, number four, which is the Thanksgiving group, which are eating the big meals, are all the way up to 98 grams. It's too early to draw any conclusions, but it is interesting that Team Seconds is lagging so far behind, and equally as interesting that Team Vitamin is doing so well. We'll check back in a few weeks to see how things are coming along. Hand off. I can't take this no more. What? What's up, dude? The snakes, they keep biting me, they hate my face, they're stupid. I don't know what to do. I, I, I quit. Dude, come on, man. Seriously, just calm down. You can't quit, dude. We need you here so bad. Dude, I tell you what, man. Seriously, I'm going to give you this secret. Take this bracelet. This plastic piece of That's not a plastic piece of I'm not kidding you when I tell you that that's the reason why I'm successful. That's why I haven't went insane over the last 20 years. It works? Seriously. Put that thing on, I guarantee you're going to feel better tomorrow. Okay, I'll try. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Choose, what's going on, man? I see you still have that power band on. How's that treating you? It's great. It's amazing. I haven't slept. I'm wearing adult diapers. I'm all over. My metabolism won't stop. I can't stop. I'm smarter, stronger. Ask me anything. Anything, Handel. What's the square root of 226? 15.033296. I guess that's right. Believe me, it's right. Gotta go. Gotta go work. See you. See you, hand off. Bye. Hey, what's up, Dirty? What's up with your new bracelet? Bracelet? Power band. Wanna try it? Can't try it. Mine. You think you can handle the king rat without getting bit? Yeah. You need help? Let's go. Wait! You can handle that without your bracelet. Without my bracelet? Oh, Chewy scared. I'm gonna get your mommy and get your little bottle, little crab baby. I'll get a second grader to do it. Hey, Chewy. Oh, hey, George, what are you guys doing? Just asked Chewy to give me a hand with the king rat, but he said no. Did not. He asked me to do it without the power band. Then do it. Are you crazy without the power band? Chewy, the power band isn't magic. It's just plastic and metal. The rest is you. You can do it. Are you sure, Hando? I don't know if I can do it. It's you. It's always been you. Okay, George, let's do this. Told you. Oh, I really is squishy. I guess you should have used the power band. For this week's comment of the week on the bad snake episode, the question was, how do you feel about gay marriage? And because this was such a controversial thing, I'm going to show you both sides. And Phobus 3309 said, Society reveres homosexuality as taboo. However, if you look throughout history, gay marriage was widely practiced. I have a question to those against gay marriage. What is it to you who I can and cannot marry? And no offense, but the TV excuse is old. We can show troops actually getting killed in Iraq, but two men or two women kissing on television is questionable? And on the other side, Nerdy Dolphin said, Homosexual marriage is gay. Literally. L-O-L. I am completely against it. It's like you're marrying an animal, like a dog or a fly. Why would you do that? It doesn't have a point. Some people are just stupid. Besides, gay people get made fun of all the time and for good reason. I've seen homosexuals kiss at school. It's disgusting. Well, as you can see, this is a pretty polarizing topic, but I certainly believe in tolerance. So until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and gives you an opportunity to learn what the best betting is for your situation. The community that I want to shout out to this week is worldofballpythons.com. It's an incredible social media website and has an awesome genetics wizard on it as well. And there's even a chance that we might be teaming up for a really cool secret project. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites. <laughs>